Jake, what's up, buddy? What's up, everybody? Tyler, what's up, Tyler? <clears throat> we got some puck coming at you, Hots. Greg, what's up, Greg? How you doing tonight? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Just regulars. Yeah, just regulars. That's it. Nothing, nothing thicker at all. Say orders went to grading today. That's nice. good. Passed the research and ID step. Step. What's the usual steps? Is that uh, it's like we, we got them. Like arrived. Yep. Research and ID. Grading. Hey, take care, John. Yeah, um, grading. Um, and it's like quality checks or something, and then it's. Like second guessing decisions, going like back. encasing, like putting them in the slabs, yep. and then it's like another like Shipping. quality step of some sort, and then it's completed, and that's when they ship it back, or okay. something along those lines. <clears throat> it's like an eight step process yep. or something, but yep. some steps are obviously you know quicker than others. <clears throat> What's up, Ginger? Nice, yeah. NT's uh, NT's gonna go. It, it might be a light night tonight, crew. Uh, it looks like uh, three boxes of hockey right now, two boxes of NT. And honestly, that might be it based on what the site looks like. If, if that is it, I mean, that's it. And it's a light Monday. It's all right. Um, we've, been, we've been doing real well lately. Um, if, uh, if something else goes, something else goes. Um, but we've got some stuff to do around the shop. We've got to help out with a couple things and get some grading stuff ready. So if, it's, uh, if nothing's really moving crazy um, after these three quick breaks, well, the NTs are super quick in this uh, Series 2 hockey that's coming right now, then we'll probably just... Uh, We'll call it and get some housekeeping done here. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> but appreciate you all ha hanging out either way. Uh, 101 Bounty was reset by Ginger. And it was hit a second time on Friday. It, it was, was, yeah, second twice, time. Yeah. I forget who it was. It was John. Time. John Greco. It was John Greco, yeah. I forget what, what the, the card was, um, but... So why? I remember the Van Lith was uh, Ginger's big $830 one. Yeah. All right, crew, here it is. Some more 23-24 Series 2 Upper Deck Hockey. Obviously, Bedard the big chase, but you got Leo Carlson's a huge chase as well. You got Zary, you got Benson, you got Patra. Um, lots of good chases in this particular series with uh, none other than Bedard way at the top. So Chicago's definitely the team to get. Three, nice and easy. Lowest number we use on the random. <clears throat> um, all teams are in. Good luck tonight in this one and any other breaks we do. One, two, and three. Got my favorite Vegas uh, yeah. to Pittsburgh. I'm also addicted to that spot. We got Renshaw down to Anthony. Renshaw down to Ansipala. Renshaw up there with Vegas. Chicago's next to last spot, actually. Who grabbed that one? Mike Utley. What's up, Mike? Good luck in that Chicago spot.
up any of this watching Sunday stuff? No. I just saw... Uh, I went to Facebook because I had a message from uh, Breakers. And my, the first thing on my feed was Easy saying how the Big East got screwed, which made me know that PC didn't make it. That's, <laughs> that's, that was it. I don't even know who are the one seeds. What, UConn? Houston or no? Houston. Purdue. And North Carolina. With Zach Eady? Yes. See if they can get past the first round. Nick Prada, sure. that's right, with that cool little patch. That one-on-one -on -one patch and set that's right, with yeah. the auto. It was a unique patch. That that patch is actually on the sell sheet, like a one on one, like Vladdy or something is on the sell sheet. That same looking patch. Sorry, what was the other part that you said about Fox Center? Uh, Purdue can lose uh, first round. Oh yeah, year. they're like pretty trash, right? Like when it comes to tournament time. Yeah, it's just a handful of teams that never seem to perform well. Perform when well, but actually starts dominate during the regular season. Regular season. Yeah. Card cam, please. All right, crew, here it is. <clears throat> Here's McDavid, Monster Season. <clears throat> Jason Robertson, he's very good at hockey. Uh, we got six young guns per box here. Uh, sometimes you get like a bonus, like clear cut one to go with. Uh, looks like our first one's right here. It is a John Beecher. Nice. He's uh, the third best of the three Bruins in here, but he just got back up with the big boys. Had a nice goal the other day. <clears throat> Hurdle on the UD canvas. He just got traded at the deadline. Kind of out of nowhere, I think. <clears throat> Numbered McDavid would be sick. Dry sidle on the PCs. Young Guns, Tristan Lunau. Anaheim. Who's got Anaheim? Sean Demo. What's up, Sean? <clears throat> Who had the Bruins, anyways? Sean Demo. There you go. Two for two on the Young Guns. A uh, little Sparkle Mads Sogard. Giordano on the canvas. <clears throat> Come on, show us a gold burst. Young Gun, just so we can sweat the million dollar bounty, which, as far as I know, has not been hit. The Bedard 101. Tyler Angle, Columbus. Renshaw. Jeff Carter on the outburst. That in gold. This is what the 101 looks like. This, but gold. With a 101 stamp on it. <clears throat> Monday, first day back for me after a week off. Hugh McKing, St. Louis. Got the blues, Aunt Sapala. Derek Sanderson, old school UD canvas. Love it. Josh Bailey on the clear cuts. Clear cuts are tough to hit. Ohio State get in or no? They get left out too? They got left out, right? Yeah. Didn't they let... Did, are they one of the teams that already bowed out of the NIT? Blue Dazzlers, these are one per box. Jordan Cairo. Back to the Blues. Young Gun Kandata. Montreal. That is Ron Lewis. What's going on, Ron? Certainly. Yeah, a lot of people were pissed, but honestly, like... Bo Horvat, eclipt, Ecliptic, um, Anze Kopitar. Honestly, it's the same story every year, though, right? <laughs> There's always teams, and people are like, the committee made the wrong decision. Like, it's literally every year. Ooh, population count, 500. Nice. The easiest ones to hit are 1,000. These are tough to hit in general. This is a 500. Wow. Nick Suzuki, Montreal. Very nice. Ron, sweet card. Two acetates in this box. Nice. Young Gun, Kesselring, Arizona. Mike Krause, what's going on, Mike? And that'll do it, box one. Two acetates in there, clear cut, and uh, population counts. 500, it's pretty nice. No Bedarts, no um, Carlson, Zeri, Patra, Mitten, Vronkov, Benson. Korchowski's actually decent for Chicago. He's just overshadowed by, um, by Bedart. 
this up. They're pulling Cornelsus in it. Cab King, what's up, man? Like, isn't it? Isn't it just a broken record, though? Everybody at this time, Selection Sunday, is like, oh, they got hosed. They got hosed. This year was tough because I think it was five teams won their conference with two tournaments that right. wouldn't have made it in right. otherwise. And then yep. I did, off I did a see lot that. Of, uh, it screwed a lot of bubble teams. It, like yeah, PC it was that. a stronger bubble year than past years. Yeah. But still, at the end of the day... We have yeah, this conversation every year, right? Yeah. But whether this year was tougher or not, like it's still but, the same. But the big East just getting three teams that's right, that's age record. And I'm I'm not saying that PC should have made it. Right, right. But see yeah, St. John's or Seton Hall should have. Right. PC's like the third of the yeah. three that was left out. Yeah. From like I, I wasn't expecting them to, to make it, but yeah. I was shocked that one of those three didn't. I think Tommy's always like six months from an attorney when his team is lower seats, so it's usually good for business when Michigan State sneaks in. Yeah. It is business, that's for sure. All right, here we go. This is box two of three. This is random teams, number 10. Love this stuff. Obviously, Badar Chase, but I'm just a big hockey guy, so Kachuk on our Blue Dazzler, one per box. Matt Murray for Dallas. A little goalie love on the young gun. Dallas Jake. <clears throat> Sparkle Ryan Reeves. Machuskin. The canvas. Exclusive. That's a number card. Yep, my hand was over the number. I could tell, though. 11 out of 100. Braden points. Man, we need this to be the young gun of Bedard out of 100. That would be... Thousands. Braden points out of 100. Tampa. Still time in there. James Bradford. True. Uh, Ty Cartier. Uh, this dude's been playing. Uh, he was playing with them last year. C Seattle. Ron Lewis, I'm pretty sure. Remember guys from, from early this year against the Bruins? Let's get my David set. Caulfields. Jack Hughes on the portraits. PC's Maddie B and Nugent Hopkins. <clears throat> Anybody open up the um, what are they like like the Megas? We get the oversized card. The Bedarda that's still going for like two two fifty of the oversized young gun. Neil Andre, Philadelphia. Josh Lewis, uh, Tage Thompson, UD Campus. Walker Dewar, Calgary, Mark I. That is not Calgary's big chase. That's Zary, uh, but we'll still take it. Uh, Pionk on the burst. Korchinski. Korchinski for Chicago. Um, this dude's a pretty nice chase. He's just not Bedard, but we'll take it. Chicago spot. Mike Sagan on the canvas. And last little bit here. Patrice. Tom Wilson. Everybody's favorite controversial player. The thing is, he's he's pretty good at hockey, too. He's not just a brute. Uh, black and white canvas. It's a nice card. Raphael Lavoie, Young Gun, Edmonton. Joss. Sparkle Robertson, Canvas Horvat. <clears throat> and that's the end of box two. Sight Women's Team, it's number two seed. Yeah, I didn't, I don't know the women's or the men's. I know the men's one seats now, if I can even remember them. Purdue. North Carolina, UConn, and Houston, right? Yep. Didn't UConn get put with, like, a bunch of tough teams in their bracket, too? Or did I read that wrong? Uh, I think they're with Ohio State. No, not, not Ohio State, sorry. I was reading that. <laughs> <laughs> State. Iowa State, who beat Houston by, like, 25 last week. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Houston put up, like, 40 points or something. Yeah.
Never know. Who's gonna Kings win? lose. Who's going to win it all, though? Uh, Connecticut. They're just, oh, just a wagon. So, so much better than everyone. And that'll be back to back, right? If they win? Yeah. Since Florida days with. Uh, Who, with Meyer? No, not Meyer. Um, geez, sir. Meyer. Uh, Billy Donovan? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I could picture him and just said the wrong Florida yeah. name. <laughs> I said that clown Urban Meyer's name instead. <laughs> Billy Donovan. He came to the NBA, right, after that? Yeah. To, um, to Chicago. Okay, C? Was it Chicago? Oh, maybe it was Chicago. He came somewhere, right? He's around for a little bit, but that was it, right? What was he doing now? I he's, think he's still. Is he still, he's still there? coaching, right? No, he's not Chicago's coach. He? No, he's younger, right? I don't know. Okay, C was in my head, so maybe. They were the final four teams last year, the number one seeds. This year were the final four last year. Uh, so you think they just did that because it was, it sort of fit, but it was also kind of cool. <clears throat> that is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, Eichel for the champs. Vegas, Renshaw, Kale McCarr, Slava, Slavyov, uh, Calgary. FAU was a... Final Four team. FAU? Yeah, because cause they were a huge dog. FAU, San Diego State. I think that was a couple, couple years back, I think. It was the same four. Uh, give me a bad, bad info, Ginger Spice. Matt Tompkins, Tampa, Young Gun. <clears throat> Either Laos fired for giving me bad info, or you're paying the bounty back. Whoever's wrong. Yeah, final four last year was Miami, Yukon, Florida Atlantic, and San Diego State. Minton, nice. Toronto. Oh, oh you're talking about FAU and Yukon. I got you. Uh, that Minton's nice. Who's got Toronto? Jake. There you go, man. He's a nice chase. Ooh, nice. Canvas Benson. He's a nice chase as well. All right. Heating up right there. Buffalo. Ron Lewis. We hit this kid's uh, young gun out of 250 last week. I got you, Ginger. Um, what is this? Oh, chronic backwards. Weird. <clears throat> Another clear cut. Jeez, Kevin Fiala. Two clear cuts in this three boxer. Fiala for the Kings. L A K. Chris Goff. What's up, Goff? <clears throat> David Monster season. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it now, yeah. Yeah, I don't catch them all. I, I almost always see them later, like I scroll up in my in my brain in the chat. Uh, Hugh McKing, when I see messages coming in, I, every once in a while I'll look back and see what I missed. I'll be like, hey, sorry I missed that. But I see it now. You're right. I don't owe you double the bounty, though, okay? That's not how this game works. Oh, half the bounty. <laughs> no, I can't afford that either. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last stack here, crew. Appreciate the fill. Um, three acetate cards in these three boxes. A nice Benson canvas there. A nice Minter. Korchinski. Nice. That's the second Korchinski, isn't it? This kid's good. Yeah. He's just not Bedard. He's a nice chase, though. <clears throat> New Mexico. Why are you partial to them? Just like you have a feeling or you have like some sort of tie to them? <clears throat> Eichel on the PC. Sparkle. Canvas. Devon Tate's. Devon Tate's. <clears throat> last little bit here. It is our last young gun right here behind the Austin Matthews PCs. Is Cartier. Seattle again. We have a burst here. Nice. Charlie Coyle. He's been a beast for the Bruins this year. Um, career high in goals, I believe, um, on the season. <clears throat> and there's still, what, 15 games to go? Bruins have the day off today. They are playing tomorrow. 7, 7.30, I think. I don't know. Was it Ottawa, maybe? I have no idea. We'll go see. I lost getting that recap ready. Uh, yep, how about seven o'clock tomorrow? Ooh. <clears throat> and not too many people here yet either. People look at the site and be like, yeah. Elite got to halfway. A few teams went uh, just before we went live. Is that twenty-two or is it lower than that? I think it's lower than that, right? 
Uh, should be 20. 20, right? Yeah. All right, crew, here it is. Recap of 23-24 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey 3 box for M Teams number 3. Really appreciate the fill. It's all your young guns. Later. Cartier. Korchinski is a nice one. There's two of those in here, I believe. Minton's a nice one as well. <clears throat> Andre. There's the other Korchinski. Dewar. Cartier again. Murray. Kesselring. Kandata. McGing. Angle. Beecher. I love that one, being a Bruins guy. And this is a, this is a nice hit right here. Canvas, Young Gun, Benson. Oh, yeah, I remember um, I saw some highlights of that game. People were kind of going crazy because the the way they play. <clears throat> Rest of your recap, Burst, Coil, Pionk, uh, Blue Dazzlers, one per box, Eichel, Kachuk, and Kairou, Fiala on the clear cut, Bailey as well, Population Count 500, Suzuki, and a Braden Point exclusives, 11 of 100 for Tampa. Not bad there on the uh, on the kind of SP stuff. <clears throat> Appreciate the fill crew. Number tens in the books. Boom. <clears throat> and copy this over. We don't have NT list yet, right? I do not. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. I was just checking. This is NT Baseball. NT Baseball 36. Hmm. Oh, man. I have. Wait, I gotta count. Let's see. Let's see. Oops. I have 18 days left of school. 18 days? Yeah. Then you just have a week off? Well, it's like, it's more than, it's six weeks, but I'm in like three days a week, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Actual work days. Yeah, actual like. Not actual. Days. Not actual days in the semester, no, no. Not that I'm counting or anything, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can get a bracket challenge set up in time for the break crew. I'd have to do that tonight, huh? Game start tomorrow? Those first couple, oh, though, yeah, though, the, the, wait, the first four. Wait, is that tonight or tomorrow, though? The first four. Uh, Doesn't the tournament usually start on Tuesday? Thursdays. The first four is Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, it's Thursday, fr Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the first? The first couple of rounds, yeah. Thursday, Friday is the first round or second round games, which is the actual like first round games. The round of sixty four is yeah, I don't count Thursday, that. Friday. Yeah, I don't count that. Christ, sixty eight crap. Yeah. Oh, so there's time. Yeah, there's time. Right. Yeah, that's um, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I would like to see him in there. Yeah. And Big they were a bubble team, right? So like they they were close. So far. <laughs> he's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's legit. There's some other there's some some big dude that people are falling in love with right now that's in the tournament, right? That just hit people's radar. I'm sure that's a lot. No, it's like kinda of like a guy going viral type thing. Yeah. I like to watch the games, but honestly, I'm not into it as much as, like, Louth is. Um, I do enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I just... Yeah, I, I used to take those days off yeah. from work just to, to watch it, but now you can stream everywhere, so it's kind of... Well, and you nice. work remote, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter anymore. <clears throat> That's the thing. Like, I can't watch them all, and I can't just take the days out, so it's like... 
I, I watch the days that I've, I'm off because it starts Thursday. Yeah. Yep. Thursday. So when yeah, in the spring I usually have Thursday off, so I do watch that. But then Friday, I got some some classes. You know. I don't know when the next time to come into PC, not PC, but uh, Rhode Providence, Island? but at the dunk or yeah. the, the former dunk. Or yeah. The, Amp is that the what it amp, is? yeah. Because yeah, we host it over here every once in a while, right? Yeah. Just watch four straight games. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to leave your seat, basically. Yeah. Now, Illusion's at 19. Thank you, whoever just grabbed a spot there. It's like a 28. Blasters are at 11. Uh, 24 in finest. I don't think we have that up here yet. We, yeah, we do. Uh, that might. No, that's. No. You know, so yeah. I don't think I have that one. And 13 in the elite. Yes. Sweet 16 in Boston this year. Next year, easy. All right. Maybe I'll have to go. You want to go? Maybe. Next year, he the, says. The Sweet box. 16's in Boston this year. It's got to say yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but next year, it sounds oh, like maybe gotcha. in Providence. Yeah. Nice. Check it out. I've never been. I know Easy always does or used to always go to the uh, Final Four. You still go to that Easy? Easy, I um, we're starting to work on your grading stuff. Okay. You know, when it's shipped out, it won't be uh, either this week or next shipped out for sure. I got to look at the values of your cards, but they do have a little special going on right now, which I didn't even realize. I thought I looked through all their specials, but uh, so a couple bucks off if they're on the cheaper end, which uh, I'm not sure if they are, but if they are. We just got this uh, NT in. It might have spoiled your one on one bounty, Ginger, because NT is uh, where it hits the most. You haven't been since COVID on the, um, the Final Fours? All right, Loth. Um, I think we're set up. Make sure I put the 35 one in there, I guess. If yep. You don't mind double checking that. Yep. You're good. Should get some thick ones. Oh, yeah, you'll need them. And the tape, probably, actually. Oh. All right, crew, here we go. It's time for 2023 NT Baseball. This is one box, serial number, break number 35. Good luck on this one. Bounties going up from last break. And there's your breaks available. Put it over there real quick. This is gone, so we're good there. Reggie, what's up, man? How you doing tonight, dude? Uh, let's get the dice roll. That would probably help. Number 35, baby. Here it is. 3, 6, 9. Reggie, uh, I haven't talked to the old man yet. He just got back in late last night. Probably feeling well at the end of their trip, so. Uh, but I will talk to him. Ring, ring. Nine. Two down to the 20. Ooh, 20 lots staying on bottom. 20 lots not bad in this stuff. There's redemptions galore in NT baseball every year, including this year. Ginger in here with that break credit, baby. Good luck, everybody. Sammy's in here. Jimmy's in here. Paul, Greg, Ginger. 
Who else in here? Cafaro, Renshaw, Jerome. Is that here, everybody? And Cab King. You have it, Greg with the two. Jerome staying down bottom with the 20. Boom, Greg Allen with the one and the two. All right, crew, here we go. Books are always on top. Um, if we hit one of those prospect books, uh, those that are the only card in this, cards in the set that can be numbered out of uh, 149, so greater than 99. If we hit one that's serial numbered 100 through 149, we will random it because the R spot does not have 100 next to it. So 100 is not represented in the numbers list. But... Um, it's going to be rare that we hit one of those, and we didn't hit one here, so. Um, card cam, yeah. We have legendary materials. Richie Ashburn, 1 of 10, going to the 1 spot, serial number break. So whatever number it is, whoever's got that number. Got three bat pieces. Greg Allen, there you go, man. Richie Ashburn. <clears throat> printing plates do not count as 1 of 1. I don't see a printing plate in here, but just in case. Carlos Beltran, 20 of 25 to the 20 spot. Nice pinch drive up top. Jerome. Bat Knob Bounty is live, which it's not on there, but it's on the website. We'll check what that number is. 85 of 99, Luke Appling, 85 old school. That is ginger. Next up, 6 of 99, Jimmy Falco with the Bobby Witts. Retro materials. <clears throat> Next up, oh, that's a pretty cool card. La Malaza. It's, uh, is this his nickname one? Jose Reyes, that's cool. 18 of 25, 18 spot, Sammy. I don't know if Sammy, Sammy, you're, are you a Mets and Red Sox fan? I forget what Jimmy told me. I know Jimmy's a big Mets fan, so somebody in the house, at least one person is going to like this. It's a nice patch back there, too. It looks like part of the circle patch of the, like, Met City logo. If I had to guess. 18 out of 25. That's nice. <clears throat> Next up. This guy's a beast. He always wore his helmet really high. Moises Alou. 30 of 99. 30 spot. Jimmy. Houston always hits. Next up, Tink Hentz on card 28 of 99. Mets fan. All right, Sammy, you like that then. That's for you, not for Jimmy, all right? 28 out of 99. How you doing tonight, Sammy? Say hello to Jimmy for us as well. Sean Renshaw. <clears throat> Next up, Diego Cartaya. Nice patch in the uh, bottom middle window. 55 of 99. Ginger Spice. And then there were two. First up, Robin Yount. Two of ten. Nice on card with a bat piece. A little platinum love. Two spot. Greg. And. Is that a pitcher? It looks like a pitcher. This person could just be throwing. Griff McGarry, Jumbo Patch, on card, 7 of 49. 7 spot, Sammy. <laughs> Don't worry, we have separate case for all our cards. Love it. Tell them hands off. Lock that one up nice and tight in the card case, yeah? Griff McGarry. 7 spots. We'll get your recap in uh, just one second. We'll get a snap for that. And we have another box that's coming right up. Mets, Mets, Mets. Mets going to be any good this year? Did they make any moves in the offseason? I forget. When's the uh, international game start? Dodgers. Dodgers, what? Yeah, Padres? That's going to be. It's got to be real close. soon, right? Dodgers, Padres, yeah, to start the season? Overseas in, um, in South, Korea? South Korea, yeah. Let's see. Dodgers, Padres. Let's see if I can find it. Um, Wednesday, the Dodgers are at the Padres. 
Glass now Darvish, so I'm assuming that's that's game one, yeah? So I'm not sure. They're 260 somewhere. Um, or there's 240s. Some, something bigger than... They might be right there. That might be the 240s. I can't, can't tell. To the left of that? Right, right to the left of that. No. Nope. Directly to the left of the first thing you touched. Like touching it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those are. What are those? Uh, 240. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> All right, crew. Here is your recap at the seven-minute mark. Look at that. Uh, to the one spot, the Richie Ashburn three bat piece legendary materials. <clears throat> uh, Diego Cartaya ink. Some mem cards. Carlos Beltran to the twenty spots. Retro materials to the six spot. Bobby Witt. <clears throat> to the 85 spot, Luke Appling. To the big Mets fan. 18 spot, Sammy with the Jose Reyes. Nice patch on the back. Auto, Moises Salou to the 30 spots. <clears throat> Griff McGarry to the 7 spots. Robin Yount to the 2 spots. And Tink Hence, 28 out of 99. Appreciate the fill on NT. Another one coming right up. Uh, need to copy this one still? Yep. That's good to go. Very six. Pop that up there. Whoa. Scroll down. I pulled a lot. There we go. I was going to say, why is it blank? Three six coming in hot. What we got in here? Greg, Cab King, Cafaro, Renshaw, Ginger, Sammy, Jimmy, Joe, Cameron, Jerome, and Mason with the clothes, baby. Appreciate you all. Let's uh see what we can hit here. In number thirty six. <clears throat> uh, bounty can go up, and we gotta check the website just so I know the number on the bat knobbing. At the start of this break, if you don't mind. Let's it's going it up. up 10, right? So, 10, so. 650. Nice. All right, crew, here we go. We have another single box of 2023 NT Baseball. This is one box, serial number break, number 36. Um, you get five serial numbers per spot, unless you get that last lot, 20, 40, 60, 80. It also comes with the redemption. If you get one of those prospect books, they can be numbered out of 149 sometimes, the base ones. If we have anything serial numbered 100 through 149, we will random it off amongst those in the break as those numbers are not included here. They're the only cards in the set. Two and a five, seven times. That can be numbered out of 99. I, I mean, out of something above 99. <clears throat> seven times. Good luck here. Baseball, right around the corner. Seven. Wednesday. Number nine to number 10. When's like stateside opening day? Anybody know stateside opening day? Seven. Got Sammy down to Mason. Mason closed it. Ended up at the bottom after seven. There it is. Ginger with the one. Rounding out the top five. Renshaw, Sammy twice and three and four. And Ginger at five. Greg Allen with that 20 redemption lots. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck. We pulled some crazy nice stuff out of this stuff. We pulled the LE 101 book, if you didn't see that, uh, a few weeks ago. Sick. Nice, uh, nice reds patch in there. <clears throat> All right. It's card cam. Let's get it. First up, nice Jordan Lawler, four of ninety nine. Four spots. That is Sammy. Sammy, we got a book for you. Hey, that's a nice piece. Look at yeah, that. Right. I have not seen a jersey piece like that in this stuff. Nice on card too. That's a nice little hit. Four spot, Sammy. Nice one. <clears throat> and I have some mem coming at you. 
Grayson Rodriguez, one of 99. Ginger up in the one spot. <clears throat> 18 of 49, Jordan Lawler again. Greg Allen this time. Yeah, we like that right soon. It's a nice little book. Treasured stats. These are awesome. Tris Speaker, 11 of 99. It's one of my favorite things in NT the last couple of years. Ginger, 792 doubles. I think he has the most triples, too. Does he? Old school piece in here. Look at that. Jackie Robinson. That's sick. Three of five. Sammy. Nope, I lied. Just kidding. <laughs> Enclosed game-worn used material of Jackie Robinson. I mean, that's pretty sick, right? Three of five. Sammy, really nice hit there. Not often you can hit a card um, of game-used Jackie Robinson material. Congrats on that. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Sammy's just crushing this one right now. Next up, oh, damn, they, they teased us with a nice patch piece in there. Oh, give us that full patch up in here to get center of that thing. Daniel Espino, 63 of 99, 63 spot, Sammy. <clears throat> Sammy's continuing her domination. Next up, Gavin Williams, little rookie on-card love, 61 of 99. It's up in that one lot, Ginger. We have uh, one, two, three cards to go. Three cards to go. Jackson Joby, 87 of 99. Oh, nice little patch in the window. 87 spot. Cab King. There you go, Stefan. Ginger, I did um, move your stuff over to ship, so um, you should have a package coming your way. <clears throat> Kevin, what's up, Kevin? Miguel Blyce, 80 of 99 on card. Nice patch. Red Sox love. Greg Allen, what do you know? There you go, Greg. Red Sox just gravitate towards it. I know, they really do, too. Whatever Greg Allen has. It's got like a platinum-ish look to it. I don't know what it's going to be out of. Diamond autographs. New York. All right, I mean, so far, so good, right? Nice. Dominguez. 10 of 25. Little patch in the window. Diamond autographs. 10 spots. Mason Martini. We call that closer love. A little off sticker Mason on the auto. That's a beautiful hit. 10 of 25 Diamond Autos Dominguez. They call him the Martian, right? I don't know. I think so. Nice hit, Mason. Boom. That was a nice box. Dominguez Auto. Jackie Robinson. Game used. That Lawler piece in the book was nice. Um... He probably does, Tyler. I think Greg sells some stuff, but more often than not, he just throws his stuff in his collection. <clears throat> All right, crew, here's a recap of 23 NT Baseball, one box serial number 36, starting off with this cool piece in the book on the Jordan Lawler on card, Sammy. Nice hit. <clears> that was to the four spots. Mem cards to the one spot, Grayson Rodriguez. Um, to the three spot, game use Jackie Robinson piece. We'll take that. There you go, Sammy. That's really nice. Uh, to the 18 spots, Jordan Lawler, jersey piece. Treasured stats, we have Tris Speaker, 792 doubles. That was to the 11 spot. And then, sorry, <clears throat> uh, autos, we have Gavin Williams on card to the 61 spots. Daniel Espino to the 63 spots. Miguel Blyce. To the 80 spots. <clears throat> Jackson Joby to the 87 spots. And a beautiful Dominguez. 10 of 25 to the 10 spot. Mason, nice hit. There it is, crew. NT number 36 is in the books. Bounty just eclipsed 100. And the Bat Not Bounty just went to 660. It's not pictured there, but it is 660 on the updates. Appreciate the NT fills, as always. Copy that bad boy over. I need to get a drink. Do you need another drink right now? 
Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Man, Jackie Robinson's sweet. I'll go take a picture of that real quick. Uh, NT Baseball is so fun. NT Baseball is one of those products where, like, license doesn't matter to me at all. Fun stuff to rip. I looked up how many triples Chris Speaker had. Oh, uh, is he a lot? He was sixth. Sixth all time? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not the first two boldly claimed, but not too far off. Just all the old timers because there's not really many triples in yeah, baseball yeah. now. What's the league leader these these days? Like six or seven in if, a, in a good that, year? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, crew, we're at that point <clears throat> where they're going to have a really, really light night, which, I mean, oh, nothing wrong with that once in a blue moon. The Martian, right? Yeah. Confirmed by Ginger. Yeah. El Marciano. It's unclear who said Dominguez's talent was not of this world, leading to the nickname. That's cool. <clears throat> That's a cool nickname. I, I, if I was an athlete, I wouldn't mind that nickname. The Martian? Yeah, it's got like some mystique to it. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't like it? It's all right. What's better? <laughs> I don't the know. Truth. The Martian? I don't know. It just seemed like he thinks he's like alien looking. I don't know. No. It's because his talent's otherworldly. I don't know. Out of a, this world. There's a lot of people who have other worldly talent. <clears throat> um, Elite's been moving a little bit. Uh, we're down to 13 on the Elite. Spectra's been sitting at the 28. No Huddle at 27. That's a random. I don't actually have that on the table. Um, Prism NBA, I don't have that either. We just threw that up last night. Uh, random team, single box. <clears throat> Jason, Matt, Damon, Dominguez. That was a good movie. I like that movie. You see that, The Martian? I did that. That's good. Um, MLS 13 Merlin. That's a full on blaster case. 40 of them. That's because Tops, Tops blaster cases are twice Panini's. Um, numbered cards in Merlin retail. So it's not like some retail has nothing numbered. Uh, Merlin cards, technically, the pack odds are better on the blasters than in hobby in terms of pack odds for a lot of the parallels. I was actually doing a deep dive before aligning that. So probably that just sitting around forever. Um, and so somebody had a YouTube video up, like a product preview, and they had a graph on the pack odds of retail blasters versus um, hobby. It's pretty cool. There are five parallels you can't get in retail. The out of 10 red, you can get the out of five red waves. You can get the supers. Um, and then I think green mojo, like speckle, I think the gold atomic, you can get the regular golds, but not the gold atomic. So it was like, Two, three of them around like out of 99 slash higher and uh, an out of 50 and an out of 10 you can't hit at all in retail. You can't hit autos. You can't actually hit Renaissance, which is why the cover photos of Renaissance on our break. Not to mislead you, you can hit Renaissance in those. They average exactly pack odds, one per case. Does that mean they're guaranteed? I don't know. Pack odds are exactly one every 320 packs of blasters and in a case, there are 320 packs. <clears throat> Um, Elite would be a ton of fun. That's the newest basketball illusions. Football is at 19. So we'll see if we can get some movement here. And a few, if not, we will do a bunch of housekeeping stuff around these parts because we have a bunch of stuff to do. And we'll be okay with that. We always want to have big nights break-wise, but... Tough uh, first day back from spring break. Students 
Seems a hit or miss on engagement. Usually miss. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good mix. It's tough even for us faculty, like a week off and then oh yeah, right back I to mean, it. It's, and like anybody, anytime you go on vacation, from anywhere. Yeah. Anytime you go on vacation for a week and then come back to have to come back to work, it's it's always tough. <clears throat> um, this week or next, Jimmy? We're sending some stuff out. Um, we got to get some stuff together. Um, not just baseball, a combination. Jimmy, your uh, your Brady should be a reveal on Wednesday if uh, tracking holds true. And uh, Joe Hernandez, I don't know if Joe's watching. Um, TCG order went to grading. Uh, MLB stuff from trade night outside of the Griffey rookie, which is now in grading. MLB stuff is still in research and ID, and same as the non MLB order. <clears throat> 20k or best offer wow nice how you doing tonight jimmy jimmy yeah if you have anything uh you want us to take a look at you can drop it by the shop or stop by near close on wednesday or friday of this week uh, we'll definitely be doing something soon they do have some sort of special going on this month which i swear they added that later because i looked on march 1st to see what the specials were and i was not impressed because it was nothing crazy um, that we'd necessarily be utilizing. It was like a vintage special and um, like one of the express gratings was discounted for the month. <clears throat> hey. Is PSA down right now? Too many people trying to grade cards. Yeah, I'm getting a website error on PSA, so I don't know. The app was working fine, it, it seemed. To download the app so you can see your your stuff. Let's see, completed. I just want to see tracking. Don't spoil me the grades. But I just like log in and get out of town. All right, sounds good, Jimmy. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll be here Wednesday. Um, Shortly before close, not too far before close. I have, uh, I have a lot of meetings with students on Wednesday uh, after classes, but I, I will be here before the shop closes up. Soren will be here too, so if you're, like, you're here, I'm not. Soren's here. You can always just uh, drop stuff off with him, no problem. <clears throat> him and I are the ones that take care of that stuff. I do the, kind of the card evals. He does most of the portal stuff, though last time I uh, started to do some portal stuff as well. <clears throat> I have appointments till it looks like at least four o'clock. Students, based on my calendar right there. <clears throat> but yeah, your Brady should be back soon. <clears throat> Let me see, I've got my grading folder right here. CC stuff finally popped. Kevin Travasos, Griffey is being graded, upper deck rookie. See how that goes. <clears throat> SGC, where are you at? Hey, you need me to log in. <clears throat> Let's check our SGC order really quick. Yeah, I agree, Jimmy. I would be ecstatic with an eight on that. I haven't looked at the grade. I'm yours and Jake's cards are the only ones in that order because they were higher price points. Um, I have not looked at the grades at all. Every once in a while, I've I've been told a couple cards or have snuck a peek, but I usually try and be surprised. Those two, I'm really excited about. We pulled that gold, and a Brady rookie excites me no matter what. So, um, I haven't looked at those. I told Soren not to tell me if he looks. Um, so I'm pumped. I think the gold really had a chance at a 10. Um, the Brady, I would be ecstatic with an 8. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, for sure, Jimmy. Yep. And we know it had a really soft corner, right? One of the corners was in rough shape. Overall, the card looked pretty decent, but um, that one corner was definitely in tough shape. <clears throat> 
So I'm right there with you. Uh, and eight, I would be I would be pumped for you. I'm gonna be pumped either way because it's Brady work. Yeah, I think I told you a trade night. It's up to you, but I would slab it unless it was bent in half. I would slab it. I need to get one. I don't have uh, I don't have one yet. I want the chrome one, but it's really expensive. I don't really care about it being graded. I'd slab it if I got one, just to have it slabbed. But I don't care about like buying a PSA ten. I can't afford that. <clears throat> But it's definitely one of my uh, bucket list cards with a nice uh, Bowman Chrome Brady rookie. SGC is uh, getting near the end of their... I heard they were a little backed up. This is the first time we've sent in a big order to SGC. Um, I heard they were a little backed up. That's not that's not what I want to hear on first order ever that I personally sent in. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Jimmy. Yep. <clears throat> We might go work on some grading stuff right now. The site was looking like it was going to be kind of a slow night. It's, it's kind of still looking like that. So um, we'll hang out for a few. But then uh, we've got some grading stuff to start prepping. <clears throat> and we've got, uh, we've got some other housekeeping stuff to do around here as well. Uh, so if that's, if that's what ends up happening tonight, that's fine. We'll make use of the time. UFC Chrome is Wednesday. I can't wait for that. Limited football, I'm not sure if we'll have that. We still have illusions up anyway, so we probably won't even post that, even though it's new, if we do have it for breaks. And Archive Signature Series Baseball, it's usually fun. We usually run a case of that every year. Um, either random teams, random hit, sometimes PYT. Um, we've done random hit of that a lot, but I think we sort of switched up a little last year. Um, Archive Signature Series is always a fun one. There's some cool stuff in there. We don't normally do the one one bounty on that, I don't think, because there's a decent amount. It's just a fun rip. Active player edition. I like them both. I like active a little better. Um, but I do like the retired players edition as well. But I'll take either, but active is my, my preferred. <clears throat> Yeah, it's been tempting. All I have to do is like tap a button here in this app, and it shows in <laughs> that grade. But can I see it? Um, do you actually want to see it? No, I okay. want to be surprised. Okay, you gonna watch the stream on Wednesday? I will. All right, just for that. Elite's at thirteen now. Yeah, Elite's been uh, Elite's been trickling. Illusion spot won a little while ago. Uh, yeah, we had that thirteen. <clears throat> Still big teams in the uh, Merlin case. Wednesday could be a real nice day because we could do some of the stuff that's on the site already. Maybe a case of um, Archive Active Players Edition, UFC Chrome, which is actually going to have the um, the Bounty Buyback Program on whoever wins the main event. Um, Pereira and Jamal Hill. So whoever wins that will be the Bounty. So you're chasing... You're chasing their division, but you're chasing um, both those guys' cards and see who wins. Who's going to win? Probably Pereira, right? Is he the favorite? Actually, don't know. Tuivasa got choked out. Sorry, spoiler alert, but if you watched it after I did, um, then my bad, because we watched it late. That was last weekend, I think. Or was it this past weekend? I can't remember. <clears throat> it was two weekends ago. Two weekends ago, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, upcoming. I don't know if this will have the odds right on it. Yep. Um, minus 155 for Pereira, 130 plus for Hill. These guys, these are your um, buyback program candidates, whoever wins the fight. <clears throat> so what's the... The buyback program so they do this and um they do the mvp buyback the last two years in baseball <clears throat> like tops chrome and basically whoever is named al mvp and whoever's named nl mvp you can some of the online retailers do it but um we do it you know shops can do it as well you can sign up to be a a store that does the program and basically <clears throat> customers can come in with those cards what's up what's going on arif that's nice photography work, man. That logo thing I saw with the lion is sick. I know you did a little bit of work with the roadie stuff. I need to talk to you again. You, you got some nice stuff going on over there. 
Um, the 12 on that. <clears throat> the uh, MVPs for AL and NL, once they got named, all their base cards you could bring to your lo- local shop if they're participating, and you get 20 bucks store credit per base, oh, which perfect. is well, way more yeah. than their, the base of those guys is worth. Or- but then you can also do numbered cards and stuff, and it goes up. The max is like $200 um, for the buyback. And they're doing that again. It's like anything 99 or less, I think, is... No, any, anything 99 or 50 or less is 200 bucks. I forget, but 200 bucks is the max for this as well. And you can, like, give in the one-on-one for 200 bucks break card, but you wouldn't do that. Right. It's, yeah. it's worth more, I'm sure. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, it made the base. like So when we were doing, like, Topps Chrome breaks, if it was PYT... The season wasn't over, but it looked like Acuna was running away with MVP. Yeah. It got close kind of for a little bit, but so the Braves were like a great team because every Acuna you hit was just 20 bucks right, back right. down the road. Um, and then Otani was, was, was pretty cool, clearly. Cool. Yeah, that. that was cool. And random teams breaks too, if you get those teams, it's just an extra little uh, bonus, you know, because you're probably going to hit base unless it's, you know, like a one box or two box <laughs> break or something. <clears throat> so it's a cool system, yeah. Um, so that should be fun. A hard stuck on football right now. <clears throat> There's a football crew at an elite. It's at 13. 13. All right. We'll hang out for another minute or two. But um, looks like it might might be the light night we were sort of expecting. Sometimes we think that and then we come in and chat goes ham and we have a ton of fun and break all night. <clears throat> like I said, we have a, a ton of stuff behind us. We need to get organized, my lord. Look at that table. It's going bad. <laughs> Gotta fix that. <clears throat> yeah, it's, as you know, it's my favorite, so. <laughs> True statement. People are just sick of hearing it. <clears throat> it's only like the fourth time you've yeah, mentioned that. I think only four, and like since it came out a few weeks ago. I want to get that new stuff. We haven't seen Elite or Illusions yet, so I'm I'm really hoping we can get those uh, get those cruising this week. The big boys left Houston and Indy still. And illusions. <clears throat> Jake Spectra, would you get for that Spectra out of sixty, Jake? Like three hundred bucks on the um, Stroud Spectra out of sixty. And Spectra has a lot of low numbered stuff, so you can crush even that. Um, this is illusions we're looking at, but Stroud stuff just selling. No matter what it is, just it's selling. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Jameer Gibbs. That's right. Yeah, that was a nice Jameer Gibbs. That was the like, m- no, not Mojo. Was it three thirty on the Stroud? Just the base, the base out of sixty. It's nice. The out of sixty parallel of the the true base. Crazy. <clears throat> Chase Young is in a bus for the Saints this one-year deal. Oh, they I didn't even yeah, hear that. Just, yeah. Is that today? Today, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like him. He's had some injuries. I I hadn't even heard that. That's sweet, Arif. Who, who was he with the end of last year? Um, go, did he go to the Browns? I thought it was a West Coast team for some reason, but I could be wrong. Because I thought he had a sack in a playoff game. Right? Oh yeah, he did go to the 49ers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> was he with the Browns at first, like the year before? What pass rusher went to the Browns? Maybe it wasn't him, or maybe it was him. Miles Garrett. Yeah, with him. Somebody bookended him. Uh... <clears throat> Where did Alexander Madison go? Raiders. They just have done literally nothing. They re-signed some of their guys, which is great, but that I like. But outside of that, they've done literally nothing. <clears throat> yeah.
yeah, four three is good for a guy like that for sure. <clears throat> All right, crew, I think we're going to just call it an early night and get a bunch of work done around here um, because we got a little ways to go on these breaks, which is not a problem. A light night once in a blue moon. We only want them once in a blue moon, but we'll take them once in a blue moon. <clears throat> um, some nice nice hits, and that NT was nice tonight. Yeah, um, and hockey, the hockey was actually pretty good. We hit that nice Benson canvas. Um, we hit a Minton as well. Um, no Bedards. We hit two Korchinskis, who's very good for Chicago still, even though his name's not Bedard. Um, so, the breaks were pretty strong. Three quick breaks, but strong ones. <clears throat> let's uh, let's go nuts on Wednesday. Uh, we will have some new stuff on the site tomorrow. I think we'll be doing Archives Active Players Edition. Uh, just one case of that. We always rip it as a full case when we do it. Um, we'll have some UFC Chrome for sure. That'll probably just be random weight division. That's typically how we do UFC. Um, and then we will also have... Uh, that might be it for new stuff. I don't know if... We probably won't have limited up if we're getting any to break because we've already got a bunch of football on that website. So, Craig, as always, man, thanks for stopping by. I tell Ryland we said hello here at Rody, And uh, we'll catch you Wednesday night. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know if you have soccer practice. The weather's starting to change. I don't know when Ryland's soccer that's still going or picking back up or whatnot <clears throat> um we'll be back at it on wednesday top series one on top of that maybe uh probably not with the uh finest up we, we can't put too much up otherwise stuff will get stuck um i don't know if we have any series one to break i will ask um 24 series one jimmy but um we put that we put that nice 23 case of finest up so we probably won't put another PYT up unless we do the archives PYT. We won't put something not new up while that's still uh, hanging around. So typically, we try and typically have some form of PYT, random teams up for baseball, football, um, basketball when we can. Usually a PYT of soccer up um, at all times, but we try not to cluster too much. We actually, we accidentally dropped two footballs, the Spectra and the uh, Illusions, but it's okay because we were going to run some more Spectra after Illusions anyways. Um, but we can probably get a push on that finest for Wednesday finest euro. Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out. The boss just got back late last night from his trip and I haven't even talked to him yet. I talked to mom for a couple minutes this morning, but that's it. Um, so we'll figure that out as well. If that's out, we will put that up. Even though we have the uh, Merlin blasters could be a big Wednesday night. Could be a real big Wednesday night. Soren's here. Make him be here for a while. It's been a while since he's had a late night. <clears throat> and, and some what PSA and PSA reveals. reveal. As long as shipping goes okay, just two cards, but uh, a Brady Paper Bowman for Jimmy and Jake's um, Gold Miley, um, rookie out of 10 from EPL Prism. So that's always fun, and we're hoping to do more grading so we can have reveals, not necessarily every day because it depends when stuff comes back, but as much as we possibly can because they're a ton of fun at the start of the stream. All right, crew, have a great night. We'll have more on the site tomorrow night. Check out the stuff up there. We have a ton of great stuff up there. Um, 101 bounties, over 100 bucks already. Bat knobs at 660. We will have two more NTs up there um, because we have two more left in the case. And I think that's our last case. This one just came in. So um, we'll post those up. And anything else we can. All right. Appreciate you all hanging out tonight. Sounds good, Jimmy. Take care. You and Sammy. Nice um, nice Reyes hit for Sammy tonight. And uh, Jackie Robinson and that book of 